Hey everybody, welcome back to part two on how to build a gas station. So today we're going to finish up this design. So in part one we got this far, so basically like the main part of the gas station done. But now we're going to work on the building. So the building, you will need brick, glass, red wool, pillar court blocks, glass panes, stone, and you might need some other materials along the way. Oh yeah, you also need some string and some red carpet, but we'll get to that later on. So what we're going to do is come to whatever side you want to to build your building. So whatever side is the farthest away from the road, obviously. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come back around uh, starting right after this pillar uh, of stone, cobblestone wall. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the 11th block. I'm going to place a piece of glass, okay? Now, if you notice, I'm directly in the middle. So if you made this exactly like me, you should have everything directly in the middle. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna make sure that everything's correct and even it is. So what we're gonna do is with this first piece of glass here, I'm going to stack up four more blocks on top of it. So one, two, three, four. So it should be four blocks total in height, or five blocks, excuse me. What we're gonna do, come one block away. So on, Jax! Come one block away on the second block. Uh, stack up another five and do the same thing on both sides because basically this will be a symmetrical build here Now on these first three blocks of glass on the bottom We're going to add glass panes here in between now these kind of act as our doors and then on top of the glass panes We just kind of finish it off with just regular glass to kind of connect everything together now on both sides of these things of glass we're going to take our red wool now red wool is going to stack all the way up, same height as the glass here, do 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 do, and just like that. Okay, so here is our front door into our, uh, like the gas station store. I, I'm not sure what you would call it. What we're gonna do take your bricks next, and we're gonna have the bricks come all the way out from the red wool, all the way out to the last piece of red wool up here. Not the red carpet, but the last piece of red wool on the corner. So, do the same thing on both sides. As we said, this will be a symmetrical building until we get to the interior. Okay, so here's that. So what we're going to do next, take your glass, and right next to the red wool, we're going to stack over one, two, three, four, five. Five blocks should be good. And we're going to stack this all the way up to the very top of the red wool. And then do the same thing on both sides. One, two, three, four, five. And so we're just going to stack this up. Now, everything else from here on uh, to the end of the brick is we're just going to take our brick and just fill everything in. Do, 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 do. And it should be just a plain brick solid wall. Really simple. Just like this. So next, after we're done with... Oh, need to get rid of that. Put that in the wrong area. So next, what you want to do is we're going to take out our pillar court blocks. Now, the pillar court blocks will start on the ends. And these will be sideways. And what we're going to do is have it come all the way over to the other side. So all the way across the glass and everything else. So your pillar court should rest on top of everything. And we are going to stack this up too tall. So you should have two pillar pillars of quartz on top of your brick and glass. And it should be too tall like we said. Do, do, do. So just like that. But we're not done yet. Next, take out your red wool. And what we're going to do, take the red wool and... St and Start your red wool on each corner of the farthest piece of glass towards the corner. And we're going to stack up the red wool one block above the quartz here. And we're going to have it come all the way over. And basically we're making a three by, like it's going to be a three tall wall going from window to window. Okay. But we're not done yet. Come to the front and we're going to have two blocks on the ends just like this. And then we're just going to continue just kind of filling it in. So it's kind of like a pyramid shape a little bit, but this is where we are going to stop it. We're going to stop it right here. And this is kind of the QT design here that I am using just because I love QT. And voila, so here's our main building. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come to one of the sides and we're going to count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks, okay? And then we're just going to turn it and have it come all the way back to the other side. Now the back will just be completely flat. And so will the sides. So all we're going to do now is just kind of just add all your uh, glass in here. Do, 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 just like this. And like I said, all we're doing is just adding a solid brick wall with our quartz on top. Now when you get to the quartz though, we will kind of have to go over that a little bit because it's not difficult. But 
in order to make sure it looks correct there is a small trick that you have to do but it's, it's not even i wouldn't even call it a trick it's just making sure everything looks the same from the front to the back and so we're stacking this up i think we need to stack this back wall up one more block do 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 yeah so i don't know i actually like the look of this gas station at first i was always kind of skeptical about building gas stations so i was never like sure if i could come up with a good design but after going to QT so many times, seeing designs in person, I feel like, you know what, I can make one, it shouldn't be that hard. And no, I think this should be a good design, it's really well proportioned to everything else around it. Okay, so for your pillar quartz, what you're going to do is you're going to turn them back sideways, but when you get to the back here, we're going to have it come all the way out to the corner, but then you're going to have your sideways blocks going long ways as well. So basically you should have the ends of the quartz on the very ends and basically you're just going to do the same thing on both sides here do 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 and again same thing making it some completely symmetrical from the front besides the windows obviously and this is kind of where we get to the unsymmetrical part of the building is when we get to the interior now again this isn't a difficult build this is actually really simple the store we're not putting the most detail into it uh because it's just supposed to be simple and it's supposed to look like a gas station which this completes and voila so here is the store of the gas station now we're not done yet next take out your stone and your stone is going to start here on the very first part of the quartz and we're just going to fill in the roof using our plain stone here so you're just going to fill all this in really simple and the building is supposed to be really simple this isn't supposed to be like we said a crazy complicated structure because I, I looked up a lot of different QT designs and stuff like that. And there was a couple that looked like really modern, you know, they had some great designs. But to, to try to make it fit with the scale of the place that, like, of the gas station that we want, it wouldn't have worked. So I came up with this. And it's something that, it still works on the inside. It still feels like a gas station. But it doesn't take up too much space. And you will have two sides to the gas station. And what I mean by that is one side will be for... Like parking and you all have parking in the front but not as much and we'll get to that I mean we still have plenty more we have to get done do 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 just filling in this last block and then we need to go back taking out our gray or not a gray our red wool now what you want to do with your red wool you're going to extend it ex extend it expend oh my god extend it a couple blocks past the course I'm gonna send it out three blocks all we're kind of gonna do it's just kind of make it look like it's connecting to the roof and all that's really all we're doing so really simple and then for the top here you're just going to fill it in with your quart blocks or not quart blocks your red wool i'm mixing up all my blocks and perfect so here we go here is your design for the building now if you want to on the corners a couple things you could do you could take out well also you do need to take out a couple more materials so oh it's can i sleep to get rid of the rain i hope i can can i yes we can perfect timing so i want you to take out some string and some red wool so string is here not red wool red carpet is what i mean you will also need to take out some brick slabs which are here now if you want to this isn't necessary but if you want to add a little bit more design to the corners what you could do is take your brick slab and basically start it underneath this uh, court slab up there or pillar court block and basically just add this to your corners and just adds a little bit more you know design to the building it's not much but it adds a little bit now again you don't have to add this if you don't want to now on the very bottom block I'm going to just keep this into a full block just because it looks better that way and that's really all you have to do uh, so that's it now, for the string and the red carpet, what you're going to do, your string will go from uh, right next to the glass all the way over to the end here, and your red carpet should go on top, and voila, it just kind of adds like a little bit of an overhang to the side of the building, and do the same thing to the other one. Oh, I need to move this one up. There we go, and red carpet goes on top, and perfect. I don't know, it just adds a little bit more design, especially from the top view, same thing with like the red carpet up here is something small that really does do a lot uh on top of the court blocks here we could add some snow and what we're going to do is actually add two layers of snow on top 
Now the inside for this, we will do, I'm not gonna do the flooring because the flooring will take too long, but I will show you like the main design of the interior and stuff like that. And I'll let you guys like do deal with the floor. Also, we are gonna take up the snow two blocks. Just wanted to let you know about that. And uh, what was I gonna say? I completely forgot what I was gonna say. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do the interior for you guys. Now, the interior is not gonna have the most design to it because actually the doors are gonna be closed as you can see they are like right now. And I kinda wanna keep it that way. Uh, so, I'm just gonna break it for now to get it to the inside. So for the inside, you will need some stone. You will need some white wool, which is right here. And you also need white carpet. Now you also need red wool still with some stone slabs or whatever kind of slab you want to use. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to use, I'm going to use spruce wood slab. You will need some iron doors and we'll use some ice. So the ice actually, I'll say got some quartz stairs. And we should be good. Well, actually, you take out some levers as well. I know it seems like we're doing a lot and getting rid of a lot, but really all we're doing is just kind of just adding the interior to this, which is going to be really simple. And you're just going to still be using a lot of the same materials that we've used before, like your bricks. So for the brick, what we're going to do is come over to the left side, and we're going to count out from the corner one, two, three on the fourth block have a wall coming all the way over to the other end until you get three blocks away from the corner here. Actually, let's go four blocks. What we're gonna do is just turn it and connect it with the wall. And you're just gonna stack this all the way up to the ceiling. Now, this is going to be the bathroom for uh, for the gas station here. The door would go like right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of cut off some of this wall here. These kind of fit the toilet and everything. They're really simple. So just like that, perfect. Okay, now for the main desk, what we're gonna do is start at like right here, I think, so three blocks away from the wall here. What we're gonna do is you're actually gonna have it come all the way out to the middle block, and we're gonna kinda add a corner design to it, so it should look something just like this. Now when you get to the back wall here, we kinda want these to be the same length, so two, three, four. So we want this to be four. All we're gonna do next is kinda turn these and connect the two together. So this will be our front desk, but we do want to stack it up. So on the back sides here, we're just going to stack it up too tall. And you're actually going to extend it all the way out one block to the end like this. Actually, it's only have it to where it covers one block from the corner. So you should have two blocks here. Take your spruce wood slab and your slides will go here inside of the booth. Now what we're gonna do using some snow, which is something I forgot to tell you guys to use. What you're going to do is stack up your snow about three blocks tall so you can't walk over it. And you're going to put it on top of your red wool. So now as you can see we can't walk over it but we can see them and it's like perfect height. And to get up here all you have to do is just put like a small little doorway there which kind of takes care of everything. So there's that. Actually let's not put it there. What we're going to do is we're going to put it right here. And there we go. There's the way up. So that's our main desk. Uh, what we're going to do is take your stone here, and on this wall next where we put the bathroom, we're just going to take some stone, just like this, and then come one block up and use your red wool, and we're just kind of making our fountain drinks here. So what we're going to do is now you're going to take out your levers, and your levers are going to place upside down, and then make sure they're facing the right way to look like they would give you your soda. So boom, those are our fountain drinks. Now this one here, when you get to the very corner, we can kind of just like stack this up and then add like two more here. Like these could be like the smoothies, you know? So there we go, I think that works out. We could even get rid of the one here in the very corner and replace that with red wool and you'll see why. So next, what you want to do, take out your quartz stairs. You're gonna have your quartz stairs go all the way over to the other, actually this isn't gonna work. That wouldn't look right. All right, so instead of quartz stairs, take out some ice. So ice is right here. We're gonna do is basically just come all the way up to the other side of the store. So basically, these are gonna be like your fountain, like your bottle drinks and everything like that that you need, like your milk. And all you're gonna do is take out your iron door, your iron doors, and you're just gonna place your iron doors right in front of the ice. Now the point of the ice to make, oh, oh my God, really? Are you serious? All right, guys, so we're back. So basically, this is actually the day after because I got pretty frustrated that the game crashed and I had to redo everything. 
I didn't see, I kind of went a little bit overboard when I was kind of recreating everything. Added parking lots and all that. It's really simple. All I did was use carpet. I mean, as you can see here, I added one more door, door on the back, which is directly even with the front door, just one block smaller basically on each side. Uh, let's see, I added a fuel truck, which if you actually want to know how to build this, there is a tutorial that I did, which will be in the description as well if you want to go learn how to make that. Yeah, basically everything's the same. Uh, just kind of recreated what we did in here. As you can see, I did change the floor. For the floor, I used light gray uh, stained clay and then white stained clay. So that's basically all I did. So basically, I just kind of recreated everything how we had it so far, at least from what I remember. Oh, no. Uh, I guess that wouldn't look too bad. I need to move the beacons. So last part, we added some of these doors here. Uh, basically, now what we need to do is add some shelves. So let's take our, our stone. Do, 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 do. And okay. Basically, we're just adding some shelves here. And what we'll do is even turn this back a little bit. And then what we're going to do is stack it up two. And then we'll add our shelves here on top. Do, 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 do. Just like this. Gotta love carpet for shelves. It just looks good in my opinion. Alright, so we have your checkout counter. You have some shelves here. I think we should add a couple shelves here. So what we're going to do is white wool is going to stack up. Uh, we'll go two blocks in front of the red. And then we'll have this shelf come all the way over to this brick here. And what we're going to do is just have the carpet here, just like this. And it'll be like facing outside the window. Now for this one over here, we're kind of going to do the same thing. It'll be two blocks. But after you get to the window here, stack it up three blocks with your white wool. And this part in front of the window will be the same height as the one over there. But then when we get over to this piece of white uh, wool, what we're going to do is actually have it stop here in the corner, just like this. And then we're going to add the shelves up one block higher like this so voila and you see we're kind of everything's taking shape over here we could even add a pillar of white wool to kind of finish it off and look more finish uh let's see on top of the doors and ice here i'm gonna add some white wool carpet uh white wool carpet yeah uh basically just adding white carpet so it kind of covers up the ice a little bit and you don't really see it as much whole point of the ice is to make it look like you know it's frozen in there and whatnot uh let's see over here we need to add some more doors so the ones in the corners here we can kind of get rid of and you'll see why it's so basically if we had one here and had it come all the way over to the other side that could up to of course these two would kind of enter like sect in which we couldn't put doors there so we're just going to put stone here instead and then Basically, just put white carpet on top of the ice again. Over here, uh, we can even just get rid of that one there. We can actually get rid of a couple. Reason for that is we could even add like a door here going out to the side. Uh, actually, let's not do that. Uh, boop. Let's put our brick back. There we go. And then same thing. Let's just put our doors in front of the ice and everything. Boop and perfect. Okay, so we still have a lot of space here. What I want to do, take your white wool. We're going to place one two blocks away from the counter here. And actually, let's move it forward to three. And you'll see why here in a second. What we're going to do is add shelves. So stack this up two blocks. And let's add our shelving in here again. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to make this as realistic as possible from like the actual QT stores I go into. Which is kind of hard in Minecraft, to be honest. And okay, there's that. So now we have some shelving. Everything looks a little bit better, I think. You know, the store looks filled with everything that we would really need. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we want to add. Obviously, we can get rid of all these beacons I added. Now, if you want to keep some for lighting, that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to get rid of a couple. As you can see, they're kind of melting the ice, which is one of the main problems that you will run into with using light in here because of all the ice that we do have. So as you can see, it is kind of dark. Uh, we could just add some plain torches in here, which torches, I hate when I can't, there they are. And basically, uh, we're just going to put all these in here. Boop. My phone is ringing. I uh, will put a torch here and there. And these should be high enough to where they won't actually uh, get rid of the ice, which is kind of like what we're going for. Okay. And really, that's just about it for the store, guys. I mean, we basically have everything that we need. We have the fountain drinks. 
which you have to have. We could even add a door over here, which would take you to the outside part of the store. Now, this would be like for the employees only, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, that's just about it. So basically recreated everything. Now, again, if you want to know how to make the fuel truck, there will be a link in the description to make that because there is a video. Because I don't know, it fits well with the, what am I thinking of, the gas station. And even like underneath, I added hoppers to kind of look like that's where they would put the food, uh, not, I almost said food, the fuel into the ground, you know, like where it's stored like in the huge gas tanks. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please rate and subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Not series, but this build. Because I think it was actually a nice build. And it's something that a lot of people have been asking for. So bye-bye, guys. Thank you for watching.